Hello there my good friends of YouTube. Well, do you guys remember one of these from the uh, welders that I got? Um, I did put some pictures actually on Google Plus showing uh, a couple of photos of these. Some close up photos and whatnot. And uh, these actually run, if uh, none of you have seen them before, these actually run on a 555 timer chip, which is just down there lot. And uh, <clears throat> it's just down there, as you can see. Let's see if we can get a bit of a close-up better of it. Or better close-up of it, should I say. Well, these um, are actually the high-voltage um, igniter out of the welders, which actually get the plasma to start, you know, to start the... Uh, to start the actual weld before uh, you know just to give that initial start and uh, there's a 55 timer chip just there uh, I don't think this phone's going to do it again uh, there we go there we go just there and uh, there's a MOSFET there's the actual spark gap just inside of there if we can see it there's the high voltage coil just there which is the ferrite core and there's a load of diodes and uh, quite a few, couple of these um, capacitors here. Basically, it's a bit of a multiplier. And uh, there's a load of caps just on the front here as well. And these, this is a one output just here. And there's your spark gap. So what I'll do then, guys, I'll uh, I'll get this one going for you, and I'll show you the output. So uh, it's not too much, I'm only putting 20, 20 volts into it, so um, I'll probably try a little bit more voltage into it at some point, but just to show you running, I'll just stick 20 onto it for you. So I don't know whether or not it'll interfere with the camera or not, but I uh, had to uh, just solder those two points there for it to initially start because it actually, it actually got a signal from the actual welder itself to initially start, to give it initial start. And it's only for a, a brief second for it to start to, uh, to actually start the welding process. So here we go. Quite a racket. See that right inside there? Awesome. Little a red LED on just there. That's pretty cool. Just to make sure the screwdriver in there to make sure that all the caps are discharged before I start touching this thing. Hmm. MOSFET's not too bad actually, it's not even warm. Little 5 5 timer. It's really cool. I really do like this little circuit. Runs really, really well. So as you can see, I've got two of these circuits. God, the fan's crap at uh, trying to zoom in, isn't it? You know, to focus in. Bloody thing. So I've uh, I've thought um, it's actually quite uh, late at night tonight, guys. I'm having a late one tonight, messing around and tinkering in the garage, in the workshop. And uh, I thought to myself, I'm going to uh, have a good go at uh, getting this thing going. Let's uh, see this thing running again, shall we? Because it is pretty cool. So we just turn the voltage right down and just see what, what it's like on 12 volts. Nothing, not a bean. It's not enough for it. Not even the LED comes on. <laughs> How crazy. A little bit more. Oh. That's about 16 volts. I wonder how long it had run like that. I won't want to touch those outputs, I know that.
That is pretty cool. I do like that. So I thought I'd share that with you guys. Hope you uh, found it pretty interesting, because I do certainly do. I do like these little high voltage units. They're really cool. So thanks for watching, guys. Look after yourselves and be safe, whatever you're doing. Speak again.